everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favourites for the month of September and I can't believe that this month has already come and gone. It feels like it's just gone too quickly if you ask me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do beauty and fashion favourites like usual and I'm going to get started with a few beauty bits that I have been absolutely loving this month. So the first product that I want to talk about, I've actually already done a blog post on, so if you read my blog then you'll already be familiar with this, but it's the Awapuhi Wild Ginger Moisturizing Leather Shampoo and Keratin Intensive Treatment from Paul Mitchell. I love this. I don't even know what else to say about it aside from I absolutely love it. Starting with the shampoo, I think this it smells just like ginger beer in a bottle. It's, it's so nice. It really reminds me of Summers as a Young Girl and so it's got that really nostalgic element to it which I really like. But that aside, it's actually a wonderful product as well. This lathers up really nicely. I was talking to one of my girlfriends about how I hate shampoos that don't lather up properly. It doesn't feel like it's cleaning your hair. This one, you don't need much product and you get a really good lather. It feels like your hair is getting clean, which I love. And then I've also been using the um, Keratin Intensive Treatment. This is a really nice, thick treatment. Um, it's kind of a bit um, creamier than some of the other ones that I've tried, but I really like it. I find that I get some really great results using this. My hair always feels really nice and soft afterwards. The only product I wasn't 100% keen on was the conditioner, and I think the reason for that is it feels a lot like milk. It doesn't feel like a really kind of thick, creamy conditioner, and so I wasn't really sure if it was doing anything to my hair, but in saying that, Luke's mentioned to me that my hair feels a lot softer than it normally does, and I mean, I've noticed the same thing. It's just, gone to a whole new level so I'm really enjoying these and I think I'm going to need to pick up a new bottle of this because it's almost running out. Okay so the next product that I've been absolutely loving this month is this beauty blender and this is actually from Chi Chi. It's not the original beauty blender, obviously it's not pink. Um, and I kind of picked this up on a whim. I thought, you know what, everyone is going on about sponges and beauty blenders. I'm just going to give it a go and I'll see what I think. And I actually really like it. I really like the texture of this. It's really light and fluffy. And I find that when I'm kind of, you know, bopping the to -to moisturizer or foundation into my skin, this just gives a really nice kind of glowy finish. And it doesn't look greasy or anything like that. And I also find that the product sort of shares out a little bit. I don't like a very heavy looking foundation just as I don't really need too much coverage on my face. I'm kind of lucky in the sense that I've got quite even skin tone um, aside from a little bit of redness here which is due to eczema. But yeah, I just really like the way that this makes my skin look. It's just so natural and looks almost flawless with pretty much every single product that I've tried it with. I actually really would like to try the original Beauty Blender and just kind of see how that works, you know, in comparison to this and sort of see if there is a difference because I have heard a lot of people say that the original Beauty Blender is the best, but at the moment I'm still kind of skeptical. So yeah, I might give that a go, but I have really been liking this for application. I recently ran out of my makeup remover, so I decided it was time that I buy a new one and I had tried a sample from Aesop and I sort of thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a go and actually go and purchase the full size. So it's the Aesop Remove and this is just such an incredible makeup remover. I find it is so gentle, it doesn't leave that kind of stinging feeling in your eyes, which I feel like you can get with quite a lot of makeup removers and I mean the scent, I don't even think. It's got a sort of a really nice clean scent to it. I'm not really sure how else to describe it. I feel like it just really breaks down the makeup and it's a great first step because after that I'll cleanse my face. So I'm just really glad that I went and picked this up. And you can see I barely made a dent in this and I've been using this every day for the last month and a half. And I mean, I'm only up to here. So I get the feeling this is gonna last me a really long time, which I'm quite excited about because I'm finding this is probably one of my favorite eye makeup removers that I've used so far. It is oil based and I find that that is just the best way to really get off any stubborn makeup because sometimes you know some mascaras just don't want to budge or you get an eyeliner that is not moving and it really is waterproof. 
So yeah, this has just been a really great makeup remover. So really like this one. So the last beauty product that I've been loving this month is actually a brow product and it is the Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit from Rimmel. Now, I really like this. I never thought that I would like a wax formula like this that you kind of apply with a brush and I actually only just use the wax. I do not like the powder. I think it's too warm toned, whereas the wax is a bit more ashy toned, a bit more gray toned and it looks a lot more natural in the brows. And I just find that it's really pigmented, it applies so nicely and it really does last all day. I don't even need to put a brow gel in or anything like that. And I just brush it through afterwards with a little spoolie that came with it. It's so cute. So cute. I don't know if you guys like little things then you'll love this. But essentially what you're meant to do is put the wax in, then use the powder to set it according to the back. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of the powder. I don't see the point. I mean, maybe you could use it as an eyeshadow if you're traveling, but yeah, it, it's not doing anything for me. And I've got this in the shade 002 Medium Brown. So this has just become my go-to brow product. I've been using it every day for the last couple of months. So onto fashion favorites, and I've only got two to share with you guys this month, just because I have been wearing a lot of the same pieces, and I think if I'm talking about the same ones all the time, you guys are probably going to get a little bit bored of that. So the first one is a handbag, and it is this Vena for Karen Walker satchel. This is called the Sloan satchel. I got this a couple of years ago, um, and it's from, I think it was Karen Walker's first collaboration that she did with Vena, but it's got this really nice kind of um, Saffiano leather at the top, and then a smooth leather here. The back has got a little zipper, and I actually, I have to show you guys the lining because it's really cute. Um, it opens up, and then, can you see that lining? Like, it's so fun. Uh, but this is just a really great size and I find that it's so handy to just throw on. I really like adding a bit of color with my accessories when it comes into the spring summer months just because it is getting warmer and I don't want to be wearing black and white all the time. So this has just kind of become one of those things that I've been using a lot recently and I think it is a great size. I can fit most of the things in it that I need. And yeah, it's just been one of those things that I have been reaching for a lot. Then the next item I want to talk about is actually also from Karen Walker and it is the Haviland skirt. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's this really cute lilac skirt. It's full skirt, high waisted and it's got this really cool kind of round zipper at the back. It feels very 70s to me and the whole collection is very 70s inspired. There's lots of psychedelic prints, that kind of thing, which aren't really my jam, but I do really like this and it's got kind of some cute little pockets in the front too. So this is kind of made out of a neoprene type fabric. So it's got a lot of volume and it's kind of a little bit stiff, so it holds its own, holds its shape. And this has just been one of those things that I've really been enjoying. I like wearing it with black as well. I think it just goes really, really nicely. So yeah, this is um, obviously part of my spring capsule, which you guys will have seen by now. Yay. So yeah, I just really like this. I think it's so much fun. So those are all of my favorites for the month of September. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'd love to know what you guys have been loving this month. So please let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye.